Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you how I got this cool toned eye look using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Firstly I'm taking this eyeshadow here called Tease and I'm going to place this into my crease area and this is going to act as a transitioning shade. So it's just going to help me blend any shadows I apply over the top. I'm then going to apply a blackout, not busted like I'm pointing at. I'm going to apply blackout with an E25 blending brush by Sigma and I'm just going to apply this onto the outer corners and inner corners of my lid. I'm just taking small amounts so that I can build up to the intensity rather than taking a huge amount of black because if you just take too much black it's going to look like a mess and if you make a mistake it's going to be really really hard to fix. I'm then going to take whatever's left of that black shadow on my blending brush and I'm just going to sweep that over my crease area just keeping it quite low and I'm just going to make sure that I keep the middle of my lid nice and clean of any products. So I'm not going to lie, this look takes a lot of blending and blending and blending and then applying more shadow and blending and then building up and then blending and then basically repeating the process. It's quite tedious and it does take ages but I really really like the outcome. I was going for like a really smoky inner and outer corner and yeah the blending was definitely key for this so though the blending can get boring it is worth it in the end. So now I'm actually going into this shadow called Busted, so I am pointing at the right shadow this time, and I'm going to apply that over the top of where I applied that black eyeshadow. Finally, over the top of that, I'm going to apply this shadow here called Pistol. I really liked combining these three shades. They looked slightly different in a different type of light, so sometimes it would look more taupey, and then other times it would look more like a charcoal. So I just really like combining these three colours. And then once those are applied, I'm going to take a Real Techniques blending brush, and I'm just going to blend all of that out. Once I'm happy with the blending, I'm then going to take Verve on my fingertip and this is just going to really brighten up the middle of the eyes and make the middle of the eyes pop. And the reason I'm applying this with my fingertip is that's how I feel I get the most colour intensity with this eyeshadow. And I just really, really love this effect. Once that's applied, I'm just going to take a blending brush once again and I'm just going to blend around those edges to make everything, make sure everything looks seamless. I'm then going back into Tease and I'm just going to apply that onto my lower lash line with a Real Techniques blending brush. And then over top of that I'm going to apply Blackout and I think I'm using the Real Techniques brow brush here. And then I'm going back in with my blending brush to smoke everything out. Once everything is blended out, I'm just going to apply Pistol slightly over top of Blackout and into the middle of my lower lash line. And then on the inner corners, I'm going to apply Verve. Fortunately, I lost some footage, which is kind of annoying. But to finish off my eyes, I applied eyeliner to my waterline and my tight line. I also smudged it up around my upper lash line as well, and then I just applied mascara. For the cool toned taupey grey lips, I used a combination of Sebastian Lip Tar from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and Stone Lip Liner from MAC. And here is the completed look. Really cool toned, smoky, kind of like a halo spotlight type eye I guess, with a cool toned lip as well. I hope you enjoyed it guys and I'll see you next time.